So let's start here. We uh, make it the left. Right. Rear left. Rear right. Now if we try to make it be above our head. Try to make it go around us like a helicopter. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 8, Poise. Today's episode, we set out to do a bunch of stuff, but basically we said, just jump on in, and we did. The first thing is we did is we went back to our traditional chord workings. You may recall we have four scales and we were adding the one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five chords and we did that. So the three, six, six, three chords have been completed. All of these chords were added. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we also added uh, two, three, three, two, and oh my lord, there were so many. There were this many chords, four, 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 four times. There were like 24 chords to add, and we put them all in there. Uh, similarly, the four, five, five, four chords got added, and we had, in doing this, by the way, we significantly enhanced our ability to, to work out the chords, further honed our chord identification techniques. And then finally, just to make a point of it, two, four, four, two, oh my lord, all of these chords got added. So that got done. So that was good. Then we decided, oh, what the heck, let's try working with our digital audio workstation. And remember, we talked about Panorama 6, which is supposed to allow 360 degree audio. And you just heard a demo of that. What we did is we loaded up our recording from here of the soft water. And we did a demo of that in the last stream. And then we played it live through here, and and you heard us as we kind of drag drag the the perspective, like that's supposed to be behind you, and that's more in front of you. And it's actually the way they're doing that is they're making lower frequencies emphasized here and higher frequencies emphasized here. So, so that's the trick. But it's not just a trick, it's how our, how our ears work because when stuff is behind our head and comes around to our ears, um, a lot of the high stuff is, is kind of going off to the sides and we're not catching it. When it's in the front of us, we're catching more of the high frequency. So it's, uh, it's illusion, so to speak. And these, these things down here show um, different ways where the illusion is programmed. So we did that. Final thing we did is we went back to our 3D world and we finished uploading all of our, uh, well, we had already uploaded all the wave files, the sounds, these things, piano one. But what we did is we enhanced our script a little bit and we made it so that it preloads it preloads the sound the minute you res the object so you're not waiting around for a time delay for it to say oh oh go get the sound it preloads the sound here and then when you touch it plays it it also displays a little title as you can see here saying which sound is in here so what we're going to do is we're going to play a little impromptu concert for you here again this is actually in our 3d world you've been here before we were working here in the last series and in this uh, stream. We made a little backdrop because we made a movie out of all this. So the test is, can you hear, does it sound like something is left, middle, right, upper, lower? And we'll just click away and then that'll take us home. Here we go.
so for us, the piano sounds on the left and the choir sounds on the right and the bass, that's why I guess it's in the middle. And then the choir may sound a little bit higher and the piano a little bit lower, but that could be an illusion because that happened to be the way we built the chain as well. Theoretically, the bass is in front of us. Compared to and compared to so you decide what you think. We're going to keep experimenting with that, which takes us home. Ideas for next time. We have a lot of them. We did make a demo movie of playing the cookable links. Share that at open mic. Um, now that we've completed the extended chords on the spreadsheet, we need to put them over into the musical score so we can compose with them. Um, that's going to lead us into how to sort them. Uh, this one we've already done. Don't need to have that one there. Uh, this one we've already done. Compose some snippets, and we're also thinking about making a new chord concordance, looking at the common chords across the four scales and their functions, because that led to some interesting compositions in the last series. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. Do take care. Do keep on streaming. <laughs>